For musicians, one surefire indication you've made the big time is the day you see your face on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. That moment came this week for members of Georgia's own REM, an Athens rock and roll band that has proven you can get there from here. R.E.M. playing the Fox Theater. It's becoming a tradition around Thanksgiving time. This week, the band ended its 1987 tour with a four-night stand at the Fox Theater, a sold-out show every night. We like to play Atlanta, and we like to play someplace nice. The Fox Theater is one of the nicest halls in the country. It's also close to Athens, Georgia, the place all band members have called home since they met in college and decided to start a rock and roll band several years ago. Guitarist Buck says they like Athens and feel lucky they haven't had to move to New York or Los Angeles to make it big. I know a lot of people who, who do, you know, they go to the big cities to make it. We were lucky in not having to, to do that. And by the time that we were starting to get successful, we, you know, had roots that were pretty well established there. And it's a nice place to stay. And REM has made it big. Their latest album, Document, is one of the fastest selling albums in the country. And this week they made the cover of the Rolling Stone. The magazine goes one step further and calls R.E.M. the best rock and roll act in the country. The band doesn't mind the acclaim, but isn't letting it go to their heads. I see lots of bands I think are really good, and you can't really compare bands. I mean, you go see a blues band, you go see a soul band, or a rock and roll band, or a rap band, and how can you say which one's better or which one's worse? Sometimes I feel guilty. I think of all the people that, that I really admire, and Muddy Waters, all these people that, that played for 35 years, you know, before they got successful, and, you know, with us it was four or five. But I don't feel that guilty, though. <laughs> Not guilty enough to quit or anything. Buck says he knows the band is not the biggest thing in Athens. He humbly acknowledges the Georgia Bulldogs have that honor. The band will settle for being the second biggest. Well, at least they drew more people this week than the Falcons did. <laughs> they sure did. Well, that's our report.